I probably only have a moment before I'm done with lunch and going back to the set. But I haven't been on here in so long. I also have terrible service, so this is kind of a lose lose. Hi! Please disregard the extreme whirring in the background. That's my ginormous air purifier that my lovely, incredible team got me. But it's so loud because it's keeping me nice and healthy and taking all the bad things out of the air. Hi, everybody. How are you? I haven't been live in, I feel like, 10 years, which, I mean, you're not missing out on much. <laughs> but thought I'd hop in. I really appreciate all of the love that you all have been sending, especially with the Yara's Day Off. It's been exciting to share that with the world. Um, had such a fun time filming it and talking to friends and getting to meet new people through the project. I'm eating dessert. I'm very lactose intolerant. And this is supposed to be an apple crisp. I don't know how much cream is in it, so... Too much. Too much dairy. Fun while it lasted. Ooh. Also, excuse the water. It's those uh, liquid death waters, which are really aggressive names. But it is indeed just water. How's everyone doing? There is a lot happening in the world. Um, yeah, it's been, I don't know how you all feel, but it's been a surreal time to be a 22 year old brown girl, to be a young black girl and a young Iranian girl. There's so much happening globally. And I think the fact that we're going to soon be approaching two months of protest in Iran is both extremely inspiring and um, heartbreaking to see the fact that people's lives are truly on the line every single day, fighting for what they believe in, fighting for women, fighting for a freer world. Um, and so it's been, it's been surreal to watch and to quite honestly learn along the way. I don't know if I've shared much about the details of my own upbringing, but truly, while this happens, it's been an education to learn so much about a culture and a heritage that I, I deeply admire, but in all honesty, I'm still learning so much about. Um, and so I've, I've just been sharing what I've been learning and sharing along the way, and grateful for everyone that uh, continues to share great resources and... Uh, continues to share just generally information, ways for us to be involved, ways for us to get activated. And then stateside, we have our midterm elections coming up, which is um, kind of crazy. I feel like it came so fast. As somebody that's deep in election work, it even took me by surprise, but I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to the polls and early voting. Um, but just know, Tuesday's the day. If you don't early vote, that's the day. Um, and I'll be sharing more resources as the weekend goes on. I don't think you've ever seen me in braid. This is true. I haven't had my hair braided up like this since 2016. I'm so happy. Uh, to kind of go back to this for a moment. It's been fun times. Yara, how should I deal with academic validation? <sighs> I'm not the best person to ask this question. I was somebody that was reading my thesis this weekend and reading my thesis comments for academic validation. Um... Because I think there's something so funny about being in school and being objectively good at something or being graded on something that, as nerve-wracking as it is, is actually kind of nice um, because there feels like there's some sense of knowing that you're on the right track, like an undeniable 
correct way to go about things. Um, and so I've been trying to figure out how to find a more sustainable way to validate myself that doesn't rely on me going back to old essays that I've written. Being like, ah, my professors really liked my work. How wonderful. You know? I had a comment on my lactose intolerance. Do I eat vegan food? I mean, I just don't eat pork and I don't eat dairy. Uh, but vegan food is easier for me sometimes because I don't have to think twice about it. I always say I'm going to come here with a plan and I'm going to Next time I'm going to get on live, I'm going to have things to say and something to do. Never do. Never do. Girl, I thought you were drinking a Colt 45. I understand. It's so off-putting. You know how many people on set didn't understand that I was just drinking water? And they thought I had gone off the deep end and I was just drinking on set. <laughs> No, we definitely need different packaging for this. I'm going to get back on my little alkaline water grind. This is an irrelevant conversation to most people. Um, but yeah. I have a question. I've been sharing... I'll share some of the podcasts I've been listening to that help me process both political goings-ons, but also interpersonal, how do you become the person that you want to be type thing. Uh, and so... Lost my train of thought. I feel like this live is super delayed, because the comments, either y'all are really reminiscing, but the comments are um, a little delayed. <laughs> like everyone's just now talking about my lactose intolerance. But anyway. I should go soon. Our lunches are quick over here. But I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I hope everyone is well. I'm sending all of the love. I cannot.